Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is PGP and in this video I'm gonna be reacting to two groups which are somewhat well known. One I believe is from second gen of K-pop and the other one I'm not sure from which generation it is but it's either from the second or from early third. And again one of the groups specifically Sonamu, uh, I know about it and actually at some point I frequently confuse them with Mamamoo and you can see why. Uh, so for their song at least I have somewhat of an expectation for what it's gonna sound like but for Lady Scout's song I have no idea. I believe this is their first comeback in a long time. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong but it might be four years or something I don't know. And yeah Let's just check them out. Starting with Sonomu's We Are Legendary in 3, 2, 1. Okay, I definitely didn't expect it to sound like this. But I guess nowadays almost every single girl group is gonna go for girl crush. And I'm not complaining because I do like Girl Crush more than the cute concepts, but I just wish more variety between the groups. I really like the outfits they're wearing. Specifically her black dress. I kinda like the chorus actually. I really can't put it exactly what I mean, but I I just really like the flow of it. I never really imagined Sonimu as this kind of group. I don't remember which song of uh, theirs that I've listened to, but they were not, did not sound like this at all. I actually kind of like it. I like this, how that sounds. The chorus is kind of lacking, maybe it's maybe even slightly unoriginal, but it's not doing too bad, I still like it. Okay. Oh, is this a promotion for a game too? Like this is the second group in a uh, in recent uh, months that has a promotion for a game. Not that I mind as long as we still get songs, but 
Didn't Dreamcatcher's uh, Deja Vu also be a promotion thing? I believe for a game called King's Raid because there was some kind of uh, music video which I have not watched that was uh, with Deja Vu and it had King's Raid in the title and I believe somebody had commented somewhere and I read it that it was a promotion so I don't mind but just wanna point it out but going into the song I don't know really uh, how to say it. The song is pretty entertaining and enjoyable, definitely not what I expected from them. Uh, and it quite delivers on the entertainment part, like it, it's a solid song. And objectively I'd say it's an, even an 8.5, but it kind of lacks some impact during the chorus. It's perfectly fine and enjoyable as it is, but it, it, I believe it needed a bit more of an impact during the course. Like I said during the reaction, it was kind of underwhelming, it could have been a bit better, which is why my personal uh, reaction uh, rating would be a uh, solid 8. Still not too far from uh, the objective, but it's definitely lower for me, because it's not something that I would listen to constantly, but if, if I stumble on it, I wouldn't turn it off. So yeah, I enjoyed it, but it didn't blow me away, to summarize. But yeah, let's check out Ladies Code. And yeah, no, I'm not going to be uh, reacting twice to every song. Some songs uh, I will if I really enjoy them, or I just want to listen to them second time, but Sometimes it's just not gonna happen, be either because it's not really that entertaining and I'm just sitting here bored or just because I got everything on the first reaction and in this case I pretty much got everything on the first reaction. Yeah, let's move on to Ladies Code and their first comeback in a long time, Set Me Free. I guess their company did set them free. Yeah, let's check it out in 3, 2... One. Why so low views? I thought they were a bit more popular. Only 73,000, that's very low. Yeah, this definitely gotta be a second gen group. And bear in mind here, I have no information about them. I've heard of them, but nothing more than that. I gotta say, the music video not necessarily low, uh, look low quality, but there's very little happening. The one with a very short hair is really pretty. And these outfits I really like. I kind of like her voice and the way it flows. But the song overall, I don't know, I'm not really that impressed. It's not really that particularly catchy or super memorable and there's nothing that really sticks out to me as really good. No, that, uh, it's not to say that it's bad. But just as I mentioned during my X1 reaction, 
some songs just don't really uh, stand out to me. Like, what I'm talking about is I need a song to have a certain moment or some unique sound or have a catchy hook that sticks with me. So whenever I think of the song, I will think of that hook. That, that is what makes a song memorable for me. Otherwise, I don't like the songs because they either go in uh, forgettable territory or incoherent mess. And this one is kind of in the middle, decent enough, but it's definitely leaning in somewhat incoherent. Okay, where are we going with this? Okay. Overall, I enjoyed this song, but I think Sonomu's uh, song was more entertaining, at least to me. Uh, not much to say about the song, so I'm just gonna go to the rating. Uh, objectively, I believe it's a 7.6. It didn't quite go towards an 8 because the chorus uh, wasn't really particularly memorable or unique. No, it was kind of unique. It sounded uh, interesting, somewhat at least, but it didn't really do. It didn't really blow me away. But I think I still think it's uh, pretty good. It's a decent enough song, and fans of Lady Scott will probably enjoy it. But personally, I think it's more like a 6.5. It's just like it's not really that entertaining visually. There's not that much happening in the music video. Um, And I don't mean this in a bad way, but if they are a second gen group, the vibe of whole, all of this has, uh, this uh, music video and everything has the vibe of, uh, of uh, Onis trying to show that uh, they're not being forgotten or something. Okay, overall, I kind of enjoy the song. I feel like it could have been much better, but it's not bad. It's pretty much middle of the road, or at least slightly above average. Um, not much to say about the song that I didn't say. And sometimes this does happen, sometimes I really can't think of any commentary I can give for, for the song. That particularly happens when a song is not... Uh, that entertaining but I don't also don't want to shit on it because if I'm criticizing it on my personal taste I could sit here all night but yeah going to the rating objectively I believe the song is around 7.6 7 uh, it didn't quite hit an 8 we, uh, and I definitely did enjoy Sonomu's song much more than this one I don't know exactly what it was about this song this might sound mean or something, but in a way it just feels like uh, like hello fellow kids. Because if this group is from the second generation, it kind of, the vibe of it is uh, like, hey, we can do this music too, in a way, I don't know. Okay, right off the bat, I can say that I did enjoy Sonomu's song more, and I do think Sonomu's song is better, but this one is not really bad per se. But it didn't really catch me in any way, nothing really stood out uh, to me as particularly good. 
it's pretty much a decent song and nothing more than that. I really can't think of uh, that many positives about the song, but also I can't think of negatives. And sometimes this does happen, sometimes I just can't think of any commentary for the song. So hopefully uh, that doesn't still doesn't bore you to death. Yeah, so going for the ratings, I think uh, objectively this song is pretty much around uh, 7.6 out of 10. It didn't quite hit an 8. It needed more oomph to it to do so. And it, it would have needed a bit more memorable or more exciting chorus because the chorus really didn't... Uh, wasn't that much more exciting than the rest of the song, it was pretty much the same. And yeah, nothing really in the song stood out to me. Nothing surprised me, nothing uh, really that even interested me. Which is why my personal rating is gonna be kind of low at uh, 6.5, but I believe that's pretty much where the song stands. It's above average, but not really more than that. Though the song is pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. Like what I'm saying, it's a song from second generation group which hasn't had music for a while. It's as good as you would expect, especially from a group that hasn't wasn't a uh, first tire as far as I know though. And I don't mean it in a bad way. I he, I want them to have success, but it's obviously that uh, this sound and for this group, I'm not the target demographic, so I don't th really think I'm the person to judge that song that much. But still, this was my opinion about it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because I'm also a writer. And if you enjoy my stories or you enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon or subscribe star and pledge your support over there. But if you can't do that, you can still help me out by liking this video, subscribing or sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so see you in the next one. Bye!